Guys, today we're going over the dribbling progression, all the different moves in it. So the first one we do in this big long dribbling progression is the basic pendulum in place, which is where I just knock the ball back and forth with my feet, getting a good rhythm, back and forth, using the insides of my feet, pretty easy. Next we'll progress into the, uh, the triangle pendulum. So now I'll kick the ball out, pull it back, and then over. So I'm kicking out with my right foot right now, pulling back with my left, and then over with my left. So you can see that ball forms a triangle. Out, back, over, out, back, over, out, back, over. You can see in between the pull touch here and the over touch, my foot does not touch the ground. My left foot that is right now. I pull it and go over. So the ball is forming a triangle. Then we'll reverse the direction, go the other way. Same thing. Nice quick feet, forming that triangle again. Now we'll alternate feet, so we'll pull back with the right foot, then we'll go one, two, three, left, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, left. So we alternate which foot we pull back with. Give you a close-up shot here. Okay, now after we do all those moves, we're gonna do the pendulum, but we're gonna move with it. So how we're gonna start, is we're gonna go forward with the pendulums, and then backwards. Then we'll incorporate the step ups, pushing the ball forwards, and then pulling the ball backwards with the sole. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll roll the ball with my right foot and back with the left foot. Now I'll roll touch, so I'm going to roll with one foot, touch with the other, roll touch, roll touch. Okay, now we'll do the same thing, but that touch will actually become a croif. So a croif is where I tap the ball behind my heel, like that. So now as I roll the ball, my touch becomes a croif behind my heel, and then I do one more croif. So I'm gonna go roll, croif, croif, roll, croif, croif, roll, croif, croif, roll, croif, croif. Now I'll do the same thing, but I'll roll with my left foot. Roll, croif. Just like that. All right, now we have inside and outside of both feet. So I'll show you in place what that's gonna look like real quick. Just outside, inside, outside, inside, using both feet. So now I'll do that on the move. Outside, inside, outside, inside. And now we'll do right foot only with the outside, inside only using my right foot, and now same thing, only using my left foot. Next we have the pull step over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sole of my left foot on the ball. I'm gonna pull this ball with my left foot, and as I do that, I'm gonna hop off my right foot and wrap my foot around the ball in a step over fashion. So I pull, step over, and I catch with the sole of my right foot. I'm gonna do the same thing back the other way. Pull, step over, Pull, step over. So you can see that I'm hopping off this plant foot as I pull, wrap it around, and catch it. So once I get it fast, it's gonna look a little bit like an Irish jig. Pull, step over. Just like that. So we can do that in place, as you can see. And now what I'll do is I'll do it, and I'll step backwards, and I'll drag that ball a little bit at an angle. Alright, the next move we have was the glide scissors. So the reason I call this the glide scissors is I glide the inside of my foot across the ball, and then 
and then I do a scissors with that same foot. Now it's on my left foot, I have to turn my toe out to the side so my toe is facing this direction, glide across the ball, finish with the scissors. So this too will turn into a little bit of a skipping motion as I go back and forth, gliding, and after I get that touch, I do a scissors with the same foot. So now we'll do the same thing going forwards. Give you another view of that. So now I'm skipping forwards with the ball. And now what we'll do is we'll combine these moves we've worked on into one, one big move in place. I call this the four step move because there's four steps to it. The first one is the pull step over. But now I'm gonna catch with the inside of my foot as opposed to the sole. So I can go right into my second move, which is the glide scissors. Glide scissors. Now I'm gonna pass from one foot to the other and I'm gonna finish with a Cruyff. So you can see I'm starting with my left foot and it's always gonna end back up on my left foot. Pull step over, glide scissors, pass from left to right, then I Cruyff and the ball ends back up on my left foot there. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Pull step over, glide scissors, pass Croy. I can do the same thing starting on my right foot now. Okay, so that one we only do in place. Next move, we have the roll step over. So I'm gonna roll with one foot and step over with my other. Now it's on my left side, I roll, step over with my right. Now it's on my right side, I just step over with my left. So again, I roll, step over with my other foot. Now it's on this side, roll, step over with my other foot. So now I'll show you a little bit faster. Roll, step over, roll, step over. Over, roll step over, roll step over. Okay, now from there, we will actually do a scissors with the foot we stepped over with in the first move. So now I'll roll, step over, scissors, take away, roll, step over, scissors, take away. So I'm doing the step over and the scissors with my left foot. Roll, step over, scissors, take away. Roll, step over, scissors, take away. I call this move the windshield wiper because right now my left leg is acting like a windshield wiper, doing a step over and then going right into a scissors. So I'll show you a little bit faster now. Now I'll roll with my left foot and just step over scissors with my right foot. And obviously you can speed that up a little bit faster. Now building off of that same progression, we'll add a double scissors. So that last time we had a single scissors, and you can see with the single scissors, it always ended up on the foot it started with. If I started with my right foot, I did a step over, my single scissors ends back on my right. But now if I start with my right, I do the double scissors, it's gonna end up on my left foot, because I'm gonna roll, step over, scissors, scissors, now it's on my left, then I roll, step over, scissors, scissors, now it's on my right. So adding that double scissors makes it alternate feet. So I'll show you. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little bit of juggling here to work on stuff out of the air. So I'm gonna have the ball, I'm gonna let it touch, then bounce, touch, bounce, touch, bounce, touch, bounce. You can see my ankle is locked, toes pointed out, not much spin on that ball. So now we'll do that moving from cone to cone. Touch, bounce.
Now I'll do the same thing, no bounce, just regular juggling while we walk with the ball. All right, just like that. Next step, we have the roll cut. So what that's gonna be is I'm gonna roll with the inside of my foot and then cut back with the outside of it. Notice my foot does not touch the ground in between that roll cut. So do right foot going down, left foot coming back. Just like this, roll cut, roll cut, roll cut, roll cut. So you can imagine in a game, you get a defender going one way, get him going this way, and a sharp cut back the other direction to give yourself space and time to work with. Now we're gonna fake that cutback with the scissors. So I'm gonna roll, and instead of actually doing my cutback, I'm gonna go around the ball with the scissors and catch the ball on the inside of my opposite foot. So it'll look like this. So I'm faking the cutback with the scissors now. Now, after that scissors, when we catch on the opposite foot, we're gonna add a little pass Cruyff to it. So now I'll go roll, fake my cut back with the scissors, pass Cruyff, and then I'll repeat that down the line. Just like that. Now every touch going forward will be a Cruyff. Some people call this a Ronaldo chop because it's kind of a forward moving Cruyff. So every touch will go behind my heel. So you can see there, I kind of have to skip my front leg out here a little bit because if I keep my leg here, it's gonna hit my foot. So I have that skipping motion so it doesn't hit my heel and my foot. All right, now the last thing we got is something I call rockabies. It's where we're gonna pull the ball with our sole, and one direction we'll do a scissors, and the other direction we'll do a step over. So I'll be hopping on my plant foot going like this. So you can see I get my heel out in front of the ball. Then I do it with my left foot too. Just like that. Now a few things I want to show you here at the end are just some Cruyff variations. So the first is Cruyff touch, Cruyff touch, Cruyff touch. So you can see I'm touching with the outside of my foot. After I do the Cruyff, touch the outside of the foot, then Cruyff, touch, Cruyff, touch, Cruyff. Now the second Cruyff variation we can do is get rid of the outside of the foot touch. Let's go Cruyff, 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 just like that. And now the third one I can do is very fast Cruyffs. I'm actually going to wrap my foot around the ball a little bit more. So I look like this. You can see it's still a Cruyff, but I'm just bringing my heel around that ball a lot faster, almost in a step over type fashion.